Um, yeah, it's just regular attack still. Well, no, Rob, Rubin is, uh, he's back to normal again. So let's go uh, triple strike. Get him! Get him! Do it! Boom. It's pretty good damage for just a regular... Wow, and it can crit. Regurgitate food. Oh, so he heals him. He healed him a lot. And he uses health brew. Whoa, he just healed 1,500 damage. That's ridiculous. Holy crap, dude. 1,500 just like that. Maybe we gotta kill Rubin first. Hit him. Kill him. Tear him up. I mean, they're not really doing any damage to me, though, either, so... It's just not... Like, every fight in this game so far has been about how long they can drag out the fight. We'll seduce Robin again. Yeah, that's like pretty much what this whole game has been so far. Every fight seems like, how long can they draw out the fight? We'll make the game seem like it's longer if the fights are really long. <laughs> I mean, for real. Go ahead, cast your stuff. Yeah, he's only gonna do really light damage too. So the AI is pretty good. I'm just gonna take out Rubin, because he seems to be a problem if uh, he's not seduced. I'm not sure how much life he has. Didn't mean to attack him, but it works. Such light hits. I thought he'd be hitting harder. Good counter! Morale boost? Okay. Defenses again. That's fine. We are fighting in his cave, so it makes sense. Get him! My dragon already lost a turn. That sucks. Take some of this, Rubin. Pretty good damage. I have no idea how much life they have either. That's right, we'll get to them. They definitely can't kill me. Guard? We'll just keep seducing him because that way he's out of the fight, so that works. Boom. We almost got him back down to before he healed, like three or four turns ago. You're gonna die, bad dude. It's only a matter of time. So he's regurgitating food even though he was um, uh, seduced. He was charmed for three or four turns, but then he's like not charmed in healing. That's really not fair. Kind of not sure why that happened. Because they didn't do anything to cast to heal him. Really not sure. Hmm. 
interesting. I did him quite a bit and he has not healed yet. He's just been healing bad dude. I think once I take Rubbin out, I should be able to kill that dude pretty easy. Missed, ha ha. And this should do nice damage. Wasn't sure who to hit with it, but I think this might take out Robin. Or Rubbin. And it did not. Oof. Dude's got a lot of health. Got a lot of health, because he's still taking my hits. Ah, oh, that regurgitate sucks. It's a good heal. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We ain't worried about that. Hopefully this will do a couple hundred to try and mitigate that heal he just did. Yeah. I don't think it's Seduce Bat, dude. Let's try it. Hey, Bat, dude. Hey, look at my dragon booty. Oh, it works! <laughs> wow, 461. Beautiful hit. Hit <laughs> 69. Ooh, good job. Way to beat your son. Alright, we'll hit him with the bubble blast. He's gotta die soon. He can't have that much hit points. I mean I'm starting to feel like this is a Titan. Cause he's got a he's got a lot. We'll see though afterwards. Hopefully we'll get some good gear for it at least. Another one of those long ass fights. This game loves to throw at me. Come on, let me have my turn. He can't be lasting too much longer. I've done a lot of damage. He's taking it, though. Sheila needs to lose some damage so that way she can hit harder. Come on, crit, crit, crit! No, no crit. No crit for you. He'll hit them both with this. That'll help a little bit. Boom. Nice damage. Not worried about that. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. This should be really nice. Yes! Got him. I knew he was low. Now we can just take him out. He's probably got a lot of hit points because he's been getting a lot of healing from um, Rubbin. But I don't think it'll be too bad taking him out. Rubbin, avenge me, father! Rubbin, no! Oh, uh, you helped, dude. Bat Frenzy. 
So we killed his son, so it puts him into a frenzy. That's fine. Do more damage to me. I want you to do more damage to me. <laughs> Dude cave defense is set to kill. Oh my. Alright, we'll see what that does. He's gotten two attacks now. Three sixty, baby. We're just gonna attack because he's a little bit he lost some life, so he'll hit harder. Yeah, one oh three instead of ninety. Something. No, it hit Sheila. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya! Kiki kiki. <laughs> I want to see what the cave defenses do to me. Here we go. Let's kill. So let's see what kill does. Ooh, good damage. I like that. Thank you. That, that's what I need. That's what I need. Keep doing that to me. Look at this. Instead of 90, I do... 198! Yes! Hit me again with that. <laughs> Definitely hit her again. She's healing up pretty quick. I need to knock her down a little bit. Use more defenses on me. Here we go. Super fake self. This will mess him up. Booyah. That's a lot of damage. He's acting like it was nothing. He's like, I don't care. I'm bad, dude. Yeah, we'll take some of this, bad dude. Booyah. Here we go. Yes. Hurt me more. Hurt me more. Let's see what it does now. Oh, th almost 300. Yes, keep hitting her. She likes it. She's like, hit me more. Spank me. Spank me harder, bad dude. Just about 300. Oh, we missed. Counterattack. Good job. Yes, yes. Watch the hit this time. She's gonna nail him. And the next time, I'll do my uh, special move again. Let's see what it does. Come on. Oh, four twelve. Beautiful. And that's the end of Bat Dude. All right, let's see. Ah, uh, not very much experience, though. That was kind of low, wasn't it? Okay, JP. JP's good. Oh, a lot of JP. That was, that was worth. Got a skill book, and that's it! That's it! Just a skill book! I can now go tell the golem that the vampire menace has been taken care of. That was the vampire? Oh, because he's a bat. You get it? Vampire, bat. <sighs> womp, womp. I wanted to see if Sheila had some more skills. Triple strike. No, because she's she's out now. Oh, Scary Roar. So I gotta use the book to get her to use Scary Roar. Okay, yes. And now Sheila can have Scary Roar because I didn't have her... All right, well, the Vampire Menace has been taken care of because uh, Bat Dude was the, the vampire. I'm going to let Becky know. Becky, hey, we're coming to tell you, Becky. Hey, uh, your master's dead, Alfred. 
Butfrid. We never even checked out this graveyard. <laughs> That's funny. I thought for sure it would be like a vampire in here, but nope. No vampire. Can't even check out the tombstones. It won't let me. Nothing. Nothing. Whatever. You gotta let Becky know the good news. The Bat Menace is gone. <laughs> it's gone for good. Probably heal while I'm here too. So Jesse's relationship is negative one. Sheila is plus one because uh, me saying that they're they're not together. I know why that happened. All right, let's go ahead and use this really quick. There you go. Yep, 49ers. See ya. Hey, Becky, we're coming. We're on our way, Becky. We need your help for some reason. Eat some smelly cheese. So now our encounters are less. So we won't get bugged the whole way. Hopefully. Yep, look, we made it actually kind of any distance without getting attacked. That's interesting. Alright, hello, dude. Did you defeat the vampire yet? Yes, and I've come to meet Grand the Grand Duchess. Great, go right ahead. She's already expecting you. Well, that's good. Let's go talk to her cook first. The cook has more status. They feed me and fill my belly. Whoa. There's all kinds of people walking around this place. I'm preparing a big feast for a ball my mistress is about to do. Luxurious things rare, near extinct animals and garlic stuffed snails, along with nightingale tongues. Everyone's looking forward to it. Becky's parties are legendary. The wines alone are some of the best in the entire world. Alright, give me some. I would like some of that wine, please. You have wine? Give me wine. Uh, please don't bother me, I'm working. Screw you. Some black dude with purple hair or black chick with purple hair. Mm, greetings, humans. Please don't cause any troubles. Alright, Duchess time, because nobody else can do anything. Oh, crap! I missed it. Hold on. Uh, I'm actually royalty. I am actually royalty. Also, I have rather important business. Yeah, you're a Duchess. He's a prince. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, she said, Hello there, peasant. Why are you in my chamber? Wait, don't tell me. I don't really care. Hee <laughs> hee. He said, I'm actually royalty. Also, I have rather important business. Yeah, he's a prince. Oh, wait, wait. Now I know why I've seen you a picture of you before. You're that dragon guy, right? Funny, I thought you were kind of walk on all fours. I'm sorry, that's not offensive to you, is it? Wow. No, I mean, well, we evolved past that. Although some of us were able to revert back to our less civil forms during the Great Dragon War. Yes, Dragon War, I hope you'll appreciate the fact that my bloodline always remained neutral during that time. I've never harmed a dragon in my life, honest. Yeah, that's okay. Really, I came to ask for help. The entire fate of the universe rests upon it. My master's going to destroy... Well, not my master. Master is going to destroy everything unless he stopped. And you want me to aid you with my fighting men fighting by your side? Sorry, but I can't help you. We have our own big problems at the moment. Then the universe being destroyed? You have bigger problems than the universe being destroyed. Alright, that's, well. What are you talking about? Evil mage in nearby towers causing terror among my people. Everyone who's going to stop him has not returned. I need every man to keep me and my guests safe. You'll just turtle in here and hope he'll go away? Not all wars are won by brute force. The party I'm hosting also has even the king and queen attend it. I'm one of the few people who can actually reach out to them. If what you say is true, the entire kingdom and humanity as a whole will want to assist you. However, I'll have to do everything in my power to make them believe you, you know? I guess you're right. Of course I'm right, Tee. I'm the royal archmage. Oh, the royal archmage behind me has been trying to figure out the mage. What? She may be able to assist you about this. Also, if you find any valuable jewels like rubies, diamonds, etc., bring them over to me. I'll compensate you far more than the average Joe if I'll add them to my collection. Oh, and one more thing. I have a request that only you may fulfill. 
What is it? Have sex with me. Hee hee hee. Uh, what? <sighs> I want to boast to my girlfriends that I've been with a dragon. It'll make them all so jealous when we compare sizes of our male friendly manhoods. Hee <laughs> hee. He's mine. Oh, come on, honey. There's enough C for, on him for more than one girl. You don't mind sharing, right? Hmm, B. Becky. You know you want some. It'll feel good, I promise. My hands are so deft, I can make even a hummingbird come. <laughs> wow. Um, so do I want to be faithful to Sheila or have sex? Because uh, if I say yes, I'll get the, another lewd picture. But no, I'll be nice to Sheila. I see. How unfortunate. Anyway, as I was saying, talk to my royal mages. I'm sure one of them will be able to help you get into the tower. New objective. Defeat Warlock. Let's see. Let's check status. Oh, I can't see where it does that. Maybe it'll tell me um, when I save if I raised her uh, affinity level a little bit, Sheila. There's a nice little bathing pool here. This dude's got some bunch of weapons. Holy cow. Belladonna, cool name. Hey man, what's the rush? Uh, we're supposed to find a royal archmage to help us. Oh, you're looking at her. <laughs> Wait, you? Technically, I'm a shaman, but I was given the position of royal archmage because of my powers over the five elements. Five? Fire, water, earth, air, and metal. I can invoke the wrath of the world, thunder, tornadoes, meteors, earthquakes, and volcanoes. I also have power over light. So, Becky said you can help us. You've been studying the wizard? Indeed, the wizard's tower has magical defense. However, upon inspecting all the data that we have obtained, I think I can bypass it. You think? Well, I've lacked a good escort, so I've not been able to put my theory to test. Becky hasn't wanted to risk sending me as she fears that if I die, no one could keep the wizard at bay. I guess that does make sense. So what do you propose? The obvious route? You'll be my escort and make sure I'll be able to the wizard tower. That way I can unlock the way for you and help you defeat him. Remember, sometimes there can be beauty and simplicity. Hey, so Belladonna's in the group, a tactician. Alright. So cool, another achievement, Belladonna. Let's check her out. Alright, let's see. Skills. She's got magic. Healing Hug. Restore a lot of hit points to one, one ally. Attack with the elemental power of Earth. Prevents damage received for five turns. Ball of light that follows you and illuminates your way for 60 seconds. Transfer all users' negative status alignments and their durations to the target. Water damage to all enemies and share the pain. Apply share the pain to a foe. When a foe with share the pain receives damage, the damage is shared among everyone with share the pain effect. That's weird. No passives. Alright, let's check out her stuff. Massively buffs every stat of every ally for five turns. Wow, that's pretty badass. Level 25. Super wonderful. Restores a lot of hit points to allies. Meteor. Inflicts damage on all enemies. Bypasses armor. Sick. Level 20, though. Give the target one time block for the first hit of a spell. Nice. Confuses all enemies to be confused. Cures coma. Restores some hit points. Creates a massive tornado and hits every foe. I'm probably going to get that right now because that's nice. Decreases enemy's defense for five turns. Deals holy damage to all enemies. Nice. Summons a friendly angel that removes coma from all allies and covers hit points completely. High chance to inflict bless. Earth damage. Chance for all users' negative status elements. Increases attack by five. Okay. So she doesn't have any passives, though. Oh yeah, she does. Upgrade maximum hit points. Or, um, magic points. So I mean, I might as well do that. That sounds like a, uh, a lot. Alright, so I do want to get a couple things. I like Tornado. I like Meteor. 
I like confusion. Okay, that's 20. So let's get tornado now. She's only got 341 magic. She definitely needs that magic uh, necklace that my other caster has. I don't see any more TP skills for that she can get right now. So meter's level 20, so all I can really do is small stuff right now. Let's do holy damage to all creatures. And earth damage to all creatures. Sounds legit. And give her some more magic points. Alright, so she's good. Alright, all right, so let's see. Show the pain to a target foe. Holy damn it. Oh, so she needs some spell books is what she needs. So we'll have to just stop right there with her. And uh, I don't think she has any spell books, so. Yeah, I'm out of spell books. Okay, we'll have to get one later. Okay, and let me equip stuff on her. What can she wear? Magic wand. Rosa's staff is better. Spirit staff. Spirit staff of misses. That's all that's better too, look at that. So fifty nine looks like the best she can have right now. That's good. Look at that. The dull spirit staff. She went a circlet, what does that do? Enchanted with protective magic. So I should probably keep that. None of that's better. And no accessories for her. Alright, so she's set up. We're good to go there. We have a tactician now. So, even though I really don't need healing, I have someone that can heal and cast some damaging magic. And that's what we needed, really. Someone that can cast some magic area attacks. Alright, so now we gotta go kill a mage. Kill the mage, kill the mage, kill the mage, we go!